Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to answer another subscriber's question here. We're going to answer and ask JN their question here, which is, Hello Dimitri, I want to break into the quant finance industry. What do you think about a totally academic master's? Some people say the degree that is so academic, traditional statistics master's, for example, here, would not be suitable to get a job. Moreover, even when they have a rigorous curriculum, they're less preferred than PhDs. Is academic degrees disadvantageous than professional degrees in terms of getting a job and disadvantageous than a PhD degree in terms of researchability and rigorousness? So man, there's a lot to break down here. I'll try to break this down quickly for you guys. This is a really common question here. So what they're asking here is that you really have three things they're considering. One is going to be a traditional rigorous master's degree, like an academic master's degree. The second one's going to be like an MFE, which is more or less like a business application style professional degree. And then the third piece is going to be a PhD here. And what they're kind of pointing out here is that a traditional degree doesn't really have the really hands-on applied approach that an MFE has. So an MFE would probably be preferred to a traditional academic rigorous degree. And then if you're looking for really true academic rigor, you're going to be looking for probably a PhD. So it seems like, right, a true quant, I don't know, a true non, you know, professional degree, like a really academically driven degree would be not preferred for getting a job here. So I'm going to put a few different perspectives on here because I don't want this to come off as one-sided or one answer. There are different perspectives on this. Uh, I sat on a panel, so this answering the master's versus PhD in general question, I sat on a panel with two other individuals, I guess technically three. Uh, one of them was an industry leader in quant finance throughout tons of publications, massive name in quant finance. Uh, the other two, I think, are fairly decent names, not huge names, but decent names, hedge funds, and they were on the panel as well. And then you had myself. And they asked the question, do you prefer a master's over a PhD? Uh, my response was, I prefer a PhD over a master's in general because it's more education, it's more rigor, they have more information and more knowledge, and they have research experience. A master's is not going to have this. Now, I know some master's degrees, I'm going to put in air quotes here, have research projects, but this isn't real research. Like real research should take you a long extended amount of time with excessive amounts of testing, uh, looking at the fringes, looking at all possibilities, really doing deep academic research that's applicable, especially in quant finance, uh, to an exact problem with an exact answer here. So a PhD is going to have that. They're going to be used to sitting on a really tough problem, thinking about it, setting their own schedules, managing their own time. You get a lot of different like skills, basically, and characteristics and training with a PhD you're not going to get with a master's. So I prefer to hire PhDs when possible. However, I then back up my secondary I typically like to hire is a really, really rigorous master's degree. And this is where it kind of debunks a little bit of this in my preference or my opinion here, which is I prefer to have an academically rigorous master's degree hands down over a master's in financial engineering or quant finance. Now, it, there's a caveat. It depends on the program here. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the quant masters here for a variety of reasons. Uh, a lot of it is that you're such generalist and you're so broad, you can't really apply any rigorous mathematics to it. And if you have a math undergrad degree and then you go and get it, you still won't have enough mathematics to do it. Like you just don't have enough quantitative skills to do it. Um, I have had countless number of quant, quant masters, finance professional degree style programs come in who can't do statistical modeling because guess what? They don't have enough stats. So it comes in this really odd thing where it's like, I actually prefer a traditional academic master's because I feel like you're going to take two full years of classes, not one, not one and a half. You're going to take two and you're going to get more education, more classes and more training. Also, a lot of these master's programs, I think are a little bit more stringent on their requirements being like, if you're going to get a stats master's, you should have a stats undergrad. If you're going to get a math master's, you should have a math undergrad or something similar to that. They're not going to be taking in like, oh, you're an accounting undergrad. I'm going to make you a math master's. Like, I don't know. You, you can't teach that. You, you can't catch up on all the material from an undergrad plus then stack on and then start actual mastery level courses. So I prefer it because of the rigor. That's how I like it. So I prefer PhD, then a academic master's, and then finally a quant master's. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some amazing quant master's programs out there. Many of them I would hire over a PhD or a academic master's 
depending on the school, depending on the individual, depending on the person. When I actually do this for hiring at firms, I look at all the candidates. I don't say, oh, I only want PhDs or I only want academic masters, for example. I pull candidates from all three of those bins because I want the best talent and I don't really care about the degree. I just want really, really good, solid candidates. And if you have what looks like a good academic background, so education-wise, then you have a good resume and some good experience on there. So academic experience, you're typically not gonna have work experience. Then I like to hire. So I like to find the best candidate for the job. That's how I go about it. Now, the other two on this panel had a different perspective. They actually preferred uh, a quantitative master's so like a financial engineering degree, for example. But they liked a quant master's over a PhD. We didn't talk about the academic master's portion here, but I'm guessing they would have ranked them. It would have been MFE or like a quant master's. Then it would have been PhD. And then finally, it would have been the academic master's solely based on the reasoning that's in the question here, right? They said masters are, the quant masters are gonna be far more applied to the problems. They're better trained. They already have a lot of the knowledge we need. They can hit the ground running much faster than a PhD because a PhD is going to be, you know, heads in the clouds, theoretical, not really looking at the applications. A lot of the PhD programs aren't going to have enough programming. So, you know, testing your ideas and doing a lot of intensive programming is a big piece of being a quant. And a lot of the PhDs don't like to code or they don't have the coding experience depending on your degree. So that's their perspective. I get all of it here. And I think the takeaway from this is that you should get the best education possible here. And it goes back to my original statement I've made many, many times in this channel, which is you go into quant finance because you love the material, not because you're trying to make a lot of money. And I know this offends many people here, but I don't really care. Uh, you're not going to make it very far in a quant career chasing dollars. It just doesn't work out very well. Um, if you have a really solid academic master's degree, so it doesn't, I mean, all three, all three options here, the two different types of masters in the PhD. If you have a really strong academic background, you can list the skills on the resume that you learned in the education. That's what really matters. Like I really want to see, for example, when I interview people time series, because that's my expertise. And typically the jobs I hire for are time series related. Now, when I hire for other jobs like credit risk, for example, I want to see some good understanding of just, you know, inferential statistics here. I want to see the understanding behind credit if possible, if they have that, you know, kind of glimpse in it here. But again, we're looking at skills, 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 and building out all these skills. I don't think the degree matters per se, but as you can see, in my opinion here, I'm looking for rigor. And sometimes we will lean towards a specific type of degree because it makes the searching of skills much easier here, right? Of course, we eliminate undergraduate off the bat because they're not going to have the education possible to do the quant finance job. So Again, thinking through these, trying to use them as filters, trying to be open-minded. Again, I don't think there's anything wrong with an academic master's. I prefer them in many cases because often the work I'm doing, the jobs I'm hiring for are very, very specific niche jobs. So for example, it would be like, I don't know, say you're doing statistical arbitrage at a firm. I want you to be a stats expert and I want you to be able to code really well. Those are the skills I'm looking for. If you're working on the risk side, let's say in like credit risk, I really want someone with just base stats understanding who can do like logistic regression, who can do gradient boosting decision trees, uh, who understands the business side, who has an interest in finance, right? These are the things we're really looking for here. There is no perfect degree out there. Uh, the quant master's degrees do try to cater to this and some do an amazing job. So a big thumbs up to those that are doing great stuff. There are many of them though that just kind of breeze through the curriculum and just like accept everyone under the sun. And then you don't really, you know, academically you're not prepared for these sorts of jobs and this sorts of work. And then we get a bitter taste in our mouth in the industry. And there are definitely schools that I will not hire from because I already know you're not going to get the education that I'm looking for. So anyways, those are my thoughts. Those are my takes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.